Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Luke here from Certifix Trading. As always, we're going to be discussing compound interest and how important and effective this can truly be to your trading journey. Now, compound interest is slightly different from the average simple interest in which you may have heard of. But don't worry, you may not have heard the actual word simple interest, but you will when I explain it. So simple interest is just a fixed rate over time based on the initial amount that you have invested. And all you need to do is multiply the principal, aka the initial investment, by the interest rate and then the amount of time you expect to keep that money in the account. In other words, it's essentially just your average savings account with the bank that you signed up with. That's all it is. They give you a few percent a year, very, very low, and it's just going based on the capital. Whereas compound interest, on the other hand, is very different. It's essentially just interest on top of the interest. And it's also considered the eighth wonder of the world according to albert einstein even in his own words he said the compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world he who understands it earns it he who doesn't pays it it's one of those attributed quotes but it's better coming from einstein than anyone else as you can imagine very very clever guy right now here's to put it into perspective if i offered you two options okay the first option was a million dollars up front or option two a magical penny that doubles in value every day for 30 days and on day 30 you get the money now would you take the million dollars I imagine that most people would because it's a million dollars right but here's where the masses of those people are wrong because a penny that doubles every day would be worth over five million on day 30. but here's the thing this is why patience is so important it should teach you a lesson for trading too and we'll go into that later on but the early stages are very slow and quiet like I said, here's the thing, it's the effect of compounding in the later stages that is truly mind-blowing. And in the early stages, it's just slow, you know, you don't see much results. Same with trading. And you as soon as you start your trading journey, your trading, trading career, it's going to be slow for a couple of years. It will. And then out of nowhere, boom. Okay, made a lot of money. Now, if we go back to that option two and option one, if you take that magical penny, on day 10, it's only worth a fiver. So $5. But by day 20, it's worth north of $5,000, which is a big significant change from the one penny on day one. But it's still not a lot as the million dollars up front. But here it is. In the last three or four days, that's where the bust sums are made. Now, this leads me on to the topic that I want to teach you guys um, about the rule of 72. This is an insanely useful tool which can tell you how long it will take for you, for you to double your money, essentially assuming that you compound at a certain rate so how do you work this out so you want to divide 72 by the, your annual rate of return and that will tell you the number of years it will take for your portfolio or your trading account to double so let's say that you have a 15 percent annual return every year so you want to divide 72 divided by 15 and that is 4.8 so that's how long it will take for your money to double four years and eight months give or take at 10% on your return, you will double your money every 7 years. It's just standard. 72 divided by 10 is 7.2, but, you know, that's 7 years and 2 months. So every 7 years, your money would double. That's just a general rule, right, when it comes to wealth accumulation. Also, uh, I just want to quickly mention before I move on to another topic as well. It's important to note that the rule of 72 does not account or, you know, take into consideration inflation. So, um, but obviously, the, the same principle still applies. So let's go over something new. Let's say you put $10,000 into an account with a return of 10% a year. The reason I say 10% a year is because that's what the S&P produces. And there's, you know, the S&P boundary, if you don't know what it is, it's one of the most commonly invested assets that has an average return of 10% yearly based over the last 30 years. It's just top 500 companies, right? And you can invest into it using accounts like Vanguard, 2 2 whatever, right? Um, there's loads of accounts out there, right? and it gives you like an annual return of 10 percent. a lot of people just have a direct debit including myself i have a direct debit set with vanguard and you just put money into it automatically over the over the months and uh yeah let's say you put ten thousand dollars into it with a 10 percent return a year as you learned already 10 percent will take seven years and two months could take to double but let's say you kept in that you know kept that in the same account averaging 10 percent each year for 20 years and on year 10 that would be now worth seventy three thousand two hundred eighty dollars now let's just even let's just say you you know put thirty thousand you know if that didn't seem like much let's say you put thirty thousand into this you know the account with the same outcome by year 20 you'd be at two hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred forty two. now this can be insanely useful because you know if you have kids you might want to set them up a little you know fund for when they you know turn 18 so 20 years from when they're born to 18 i know it's 18 years but let's say they get at 21 20 or whatever you know over 
over a long period of you know time, it's going to be worth a lot more than the initial uh, investment that you put into it. So uh, that's why it can be quite good if you put a bit of money into it and just top it up every now and then with some more money, which I'll go into in a minute. And uh, yeah, your kid will obviously thank you for it a lot. So um, yeah, this may not seem like much as well, you know, the 30,000 or under 290,000 outcome, but you, you just get the idea, right? The more money you put in, the more money you get out. And this leads me on to the last topic that I just mentioned. Then I've added more money into it over time. So let's take the same $10,000 with the same 10% yearly return, but this time instead, we will put $500 a month. So every single month, we're going to put $500 into the account to top it up. Uh, so, which, you know, which is, I believe, $6,000 a year. You will now be at 452965 by year 20. Okay, so if you put into an account $10,000 for your kid, and every month you top it up with $500 from your income. Okay, now we're referring to it as an account, but it could be a trading account as well, personal trading account, I'll go into that later. But let's just say you did that. By year 20, be worth just shy of $450,000. And obviously we're putting 30,000 into it with the same outcome, 10% annual return and $1,000 monthly deposits. By year 20, you'll be at 979,000, so just shy of a million, okay? Never mind 30, 40 plus years, which would be worth more to multi-millions, or never mind putting more and more money into it each year, okay? Now, when we apply this exact same principle to trading, you can make so much money just taking advantage of compound interest by trading the same account. I get asked so many times, what is a good return for trading? And I'm going to be honest with you guys, anything that is on par or even beats the SP500, you know, outcome each year, that's considered amazing alone. Not many people even beat, you know, what the SP500 produces. So even just beating that alone, you know, you can imagine uh, you're considered amazing, right? For me personally, I like to give myself an aim for 6% a month because when you compound that over a 12 month period, that is a whopping plus 100% gain on your account, which is insane. A lot of people would just think, oh, well, it's 72% a year. You know, it's not. You're forgetting about the compound interest that's added on top if you're trading the same account, of course. Now, this is something that's heavily slept on this whole topic, compound interest, and it isn't really spoken about in the trading industry. So I'm, I'm glad I'm here today to just explain to you guys and you know, hopefully take some value away from it. Um, so let's take a look at this on the calculator, right? So I'll pull up the calculator now and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a little look here. So this is all in dollars, obviously, you know, in pounds would be slightly different, but dollars is the most, you know, most traded sort of currency, obviously, as we know. Uh, so let's just take a look here, right? So let's say you put $1,000 into an account. You aim for 3% a month, never mind 6%. But this time, you're also going to be depositing $200 from your job into the account now the reason why i'm putting this is because this is quite average figures than what people first put into their broker account and they'll try and top it up each month from the actual job income right and that's exactly how i started off it was a little bit less in pounds but it's still worked out around the thousand dollar mark when i first started back in 2016 and 17 right so let's just say that was over the span of 20 years and we'll just go ahead and click a calculate here. So you put in a thousand dollars initial investment, but you're putting 200 pounds into or 200 sort of dollars, sorry, into it every month just to top up the account. Now, if we just take a look here, as you can see, if we just put this, this is the balance at the end of every single year. So by year 10, that account would be at $259,450 oh, and dot 90 cents. Just, you know, just from trading that same account. And obviously by year 20, it'll be at just shy of quarter, uh, nine and a quarter million, which is, you know, quite a bit of money. So as you can see, just from initial investment of the thousand dollars with monthly contribution of 200 and an interest rate of 3% a month in 20 years, you'd be, you know, not even in 20 years, but even just like within the 10 years or so, you're going to be, you know, nearly a millionaire just based on this alone. Right. So it's just incredible when you put it into perspective. And I like to show this to people because it can sometimes help motivate people to keep on going because you may not see the results in the first few years. Like here, you know, even if in the third year, you're only making just under, you know, shy of 16,000, which is not a lot of money compared to what's available out there for you to take. So the first few years or so are going to be quiet. Same with your journey. It's going to be slow. It's going to be quiet. And then out of nowhere, boom, these profits come out of nowhere. You know, year 14, you just make your first million. But year 13, you make 764,000. It's a huge jump. But that's what is, you know, it's all here. It's in front of you. Okay. It's, it's mind-blowing when it comes to combined interest. Now, 
It's important to also remind you guys that time and consistency makes this work. It's the exact same thing with trading. You need to be patient. The first few years could be quiet, then all of a sudden, like I said, boom, the profits have exploded, and you have made more money than you have ever made within those first few months. Well, not the first few months, but within those few months. The minute though, this is important to understand as well, guys, the minute that you start tampering with the account and start to withdraw money, of course it will affect the compound interest. You'll make slightly less. Um, so let's just take a look at some examples on the chart, right? And guys, I will put the link down to this website as well below, or you can just go ahead and Google and type in compound interest calculator, and this one will come up. This is the calculator site.com, uh, but there's plenty out there. You're more than welcome to go ahead and check them out because at the end of the day, you can just use it as like motivational purposes. It, as much as I hate those words because it's just so watered these days, you know, it's still there. You know, I, I don't care what it takes for you to get through the task that you want to do. Same with anything, like if you feel the need to put on some motivational video in the background, if that helps you get through that task, fuck what other people say. Just do what, it, you know, helps you get through that task. Um, same with this, you know, you can use this as motivation and fuel to just keep on pushing forward because it's all there in front of you guys. So, like I said, let's go over some calculations right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just take a little look right together, right? So, let's just say, yeah, I don't know, you start off with... Let's just get you let's just say you get a fifty thousand funded account right you get a funded account you get three percent a month over 20 years and obviously you're not going to be depositing money into this one you may be withdrawing though uh so let's just say you're going to be withdrawing 500 but you're still making that three percent a month you're still on the funded account because obviously the funded account is to get payout right and you can use this five hundred dollars a month which you can calculate in a minute to put into your personal trading account so that's what i recommend to people who are trading with prop firms Obviously, yes, it's great to get payouts and stuff like that and spend it on stuff, but it's not it's not fully reliable. You know, a personal account is because you can withdraw and deposit any time you want. So what I would recommend is if you are going to be a funded trader and that's your goal, which is highly achievable. We have many students inside of the Certifex community absolutely killing it because they're funded traders. They're in my mentorships. If you are interested in that, guys, make sure you check it out. Okay, now that the cheeky plug's over, Let's jump back into the video. So what I'm trying to say is if you get a little payout from your prop firm, withdraw that money and put a little bit, obviously, you know, go ahead and spend it on some new shoes, put it towards bills, whatever you want to do, guys. But put a little bit of that money into a personal account. All right. Even put it into some stocks, put it into the SP 500. Just put it into something that makes the money work for you. Uh, so you've got that cash to fall back on. You've got the money to fall back on, right? Uh, rather than just getting the payout and blowing it all on some new stuff. So let's just go ahead and calculate this. So you started off with 50K, right? Bear in mind, you're still making $500 a month withdrawal. Obviously, you know, you may not want to withdraw 500 and maybe like 5,000. You may want to withdraw like 10,000 the next year, whatever. You can see it here. You can go ahead and calculate it all yourself, guys. This is just a general rule, right? Even still withdrawing $500, obviously, you know, when you're a millionaire, you're not going to be withdrawing 500. You're going to be withdrawing, you know, six figures. So um, let's just say you reach, you hit your first million after year ten, being a funded trader of fifty thousand, withdrawing ten, uh, you know five hundred dollars a month. Obviously, like I said, you're gonna be withdrawing more. I get that, but by year twenty, look at the difference between year ten to year twenty. Forty million. It's ridiculous. Compound interest is heavily slept on, guys. Make sure you go ahead and just check it out. Now let's just say we're trading a fifty k account, no deposits, no withdrawals, and uh, three percent a month because I feel like. Between three to six percent a month, that is good because it compounds to, you know, over hundred percent a year. So six percent monthly, let's say, fifty-nine million. Well, I don't even know what that is. All right, it's a lot of money. So it's possible. It's possible. Obviously, you will be withdrawing money. You're not going to hold nothing. You're not going to just, you know, trade the same account for twenty years. I don't know. You might do, but you're going to be that very rare guy who does that. So if you want to hold the money for that long without any withdrawals, be my guest, you make a lot of money. But you're going to withdraw money because you need to enjoy life as well. Because time is something we don't get back, but money we do get back. Just remember that, guys, okay? You don't get back time, you get back money. So go and enjoy, you know, your youth. Obviously, I, I respect the hustle. And, you know, I respect, you know, these 20-year-olds out here hustling and busting and skipping the parties each weekend. But sometimes, you know, don't forget... The things that matter most to us, um, you know, families, you know, going on a family little vacations together. You know, I've never come across an old person on the deathbed who said, I wish I had more money or whatever. You know, they may say that, don't be wrong, but they've always ultimately said family, family, family. So, yeah, that's just a little reminder for you guys, you know, even though I respect the hustle, just don't forget about, you know, the, the true things that matter. 
So like I said, guys, you can get time. You can't get time back. You can always get money back though. So uh, yeah, um, you know, even just one percent a month, right? Still a lot of money. You've gone from 50k to year 20 to 544k, just one percent a month, right? Even if you were to just add the extra 0.5 on there, so 1.5 percent a month, let's say, right? Look at the difference, 1.7 mil. Okay, obviously the more you make, the more you make over a long term as well. Um, but it's important to be pragmatic, you know, I don't like the word realistic, so let's just roll with pragmatic. It's important to be pra a pragmatic because a lot of people just aim for the skies. Like I said earlier, trying to aim for these 1 to 10, 1 to 20 hour trades. But it's important, more important to focus on the nice 2 to 3 hour trades because those trades will add up. If you hit a couple of our trades in like, let's say, you, two days out of the week and you're up 4 hour for that week. Next week, you take a loss. You're down 1 hour for that week. You're back at 3 hour. Come back next week, you take a nice win. You're up 3 hour. Okay. You're up now 6 hour in total. Come back the next week, you're down 1 hour. Come back the next week, you're up 3 hour again. So, uh, you know, 8% roughly, right? So that's 8% for that month, let's say. You know, that's it's possible, guys, okay? It really is. Rather than aim for this 1 to 10, where you take a bunch of losses in a row, which is like, let's say you take 15 losses in a row. Maybe not 15 losses in a row. It's quite extreme, but it's quite possible. A lot of people do there, you know, do that just trying to hit a 1 to 20. Just to say you take 10 losses in a row, risk 1%, you're down 10% already. Let's say you're aiming for a 1 to 15, you're up, what, 5%. This is without factoring in any commissions. You know, that way, yeah, you may think you make more money that way. Fair enough, I get it. You probably do if you hit, you know, big R trade out of nowhere. You know, take a few losses, but at the end of the day, it's just psychology as well. You got to, you know, consider about. A lot of people will take these big trades, but they they want to quit trading. A lot of people don't see it through the, you know, the few losses in a row. They just think, oh, I'm going to switch on to a new strategy because this isn't working. But it's no, it's not It's not that. It's not working. It's because you're aiming for ridiculous risk to war trades. So just aim for those smaller consistent trades. It's a, it takes a better toll on yourself mentally. You won't, you'll find profitability a lot quicker that way than you will be aiming for a 1 to 10. I really do hope I've, you know, shed a lot of value in this one. Compound interest is definitely heavily slept on. And, you know, it's something that we can take advantage of in our trading. So, guys, with that being said, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And any questions or issues like that, things like that, like guys, make sure you reach out to me on social media. I'm more than happy to help. And guys, thank you so much for watching if you're still here. I'll see you in the next video.